Hello and welcome. It is the 21st day of March 2060. My name is Derek and uh, my uh, favorite crypto early on has and still is the Bella chart, but I'm in grave concerns of running out of a decent amount of shares I already have. This is the daily chart and price action has broken past this uh, key level, which means on the rally break of 5,000 up to 6,000, I have liquidated about, uh, th th let's do some math in my head, well over a thousand shares of what is, was around 3,000. So I've liquidated about 40%, 38% of the shares and I'm looking to buy them back and I really haven't had much luck yet as far as that is concerned because what I've been doing all the way in here is buying whatever amount of shares, say 100 and then selling 80 of them back. In this range in here, it's going to be whatever I buy and sell is going to be equal. So if I'm selling 80 shares, I'm looking to buy 80 shares back at cheaper prices. So ideally for me, at some point, I'd like to see it continue rallying up to the previous high, 6,700 area, 6,500 rather. And then maybe come back down to, well, wherever it was to come back down so I can get some of those shares back at cheaper prices. That's what I'm going to be hoping for, but if it continues to go higher, because this could be very scary on its up potential, I'm making sure that I'm going to have a decent amount of shares in the bank. Right now, my highest sell order is 11,000. And I got a whole bunch of ones not even uh, just at holding, just in case, because I don't know what the potential this thing has for its upside moves. And quite frankly, I'm only looking for what I did the last time, which was, okay, I exceeded in here. Or I figured five to six K, so I liquidated out. I was right at this time. Mathematically, I've calculated two areas, roughly around 2,500 area, the 3,100 area as where I thought entry points was good, right again. And now I got this number here about 11,000. So that's where I'm going to be working towards Pierce above. How long it's going to take? I mean, the next stage right now, or the current stage, is uh, attempting to play around with the previous high. So ideally, a move here back to what the key resistance is, which has been perfect Fibonacci from this high and this low, as was 37.50 as well. So ideally for me, that would be the case, but the market's going to move how the market's going to move, and I have to be ready because I'm seeing a lot of these things just go way, way, way up, up. And I have to be uh, ready that I uh, have a decent amount of share sizes if, of course, it goes to its next key point. Last time when I was up here, I got up to about 1,800 shares at my peak. And when I was leaving this area, I got down to 300. My peak right now is around 3,000 and I've dipped below 2,000. And I want to make sure that I have well over 1,500, if I can, coming back in towards here. But when it tops, last time I had 300, this time I probably leave, like, I never have less than 500 for any immediate purposes. Because I don't know the capabilities this thing has within its upside movements. Now the two ones that are going the biggest for me right now, Bell is my number one traded uh, fund with GNT being my second. And they're both moving wildly right now, which is really good. But they're showing, to me, they're showing signs that this thing has, I don't know, unlimited potential maybe because within the volume in here, if you look at the, when you look at it on uh, your site, Polo Nex, it's the only place I think you can trade it. But the volume is really low here. And within this entire run, Every single time there's been like a little bit of these rallies, whether you're looking at it on the daily chart or the hourly time frame or any of these big pops on the shorter term time frames have come on decent vo volume, but not that big. And the consolidation is always on much lighter volume. So for me to look for a topping area, I want to see volume just skyrocketing to the upside as it's moving higher, which I would predict to be in this range my guess is that it's going to eventually make it up to about 13k because I, I, I got 11.3 but i got a pierce above this thing last time 
it was 5,020 ish or so, the number that I calculated. And I'm thinking, man, I got to go pierce above that again to 6,000. So, heck, I could even go 15 to 18K. Who knows how large of a pierce? Last time it went 30% higher than my pierce. So the potential for where those numbers could go up to is high. But when I see big volume towards this area, I'm probably going to sell a decent off. And then, of course, I'd be looking to buy back in here, long term, that is. But for now, I'm in the situation of trying to buy back everything that I sell. And as it keeps going higher, selling some more. But making sure that if it keeps going up and I can't buy back, that I have shares. So thank you for tuning in and take care.